My name's Erin Borla. I live in Sisters in Deschutes County. I have a seven-year-old and a 10-year-old at home and a 20-year-old that's here every few days. And so they're all doing online school and I'm working at the same time and then trying to find time off screen at the same time. It's a little bit challenging. <laughs> love our local library so when the library decided to close it was like oh my gosh we have to try and find as many resources as we can uh, we do have a lot of books at home and I'm one that really loves to hold a book but sometimes you just need something different to read so it's been great to be able to have downloadable resources I fell in love with the National Geographic Kids site through the public library, which I didn't even realize was available. And then by finding that, I was able to find all sorts of other online resources. So it's been really exciting. You know, sometimes, especially for kiddos too, when you're just reading something, there needs to be more interaction, you know, when they're studying an animal and then they get to watch a video on the animal that's not necessarily a YouTube, like it's actually National Geographic. It's been great to be able to have downloadable resources. We've used a lot of the online books for our kids, which we typically haven't done eBooks for the kids. So this has been really cool for them to get a chance to read on their Kindle. It's, they really are excited about the opportunity to be able to you know, find new things. And if they aren't, you know, if, if their book doesn't catch them right away, they're able to really find something that grabs them. Uh, and I know our seven-year-old has asked already, can I please get another ebook? Can I, what can I find? What can I find on the Kindle? I want to do another ebook. So we'll definitely continue to use that. We're friends with our librarians, and so they, they know when we're in, and they are so kind, and so seeing their smiling faces and asking for recommendations and hearing what they're reading and share, the kids sharing what, what they're interested in and getting new recommendations. Uh, I think those are really important things. I also, I love the feeling of a physical book. Like you get to hold it in your hands, you get to turn the pages, you get to see how far you've completed. That's a, that's a big deal. <laughs> Everyone has their own battles to fight, and they, uh, when you think somebody's got it all together, they're, they're fighting their own stuff too. So uh, I, I would hate to say, yeah, you should totally do this because it'll make your life a lot easier. Who knows if it will or not? It might add another burden. Um, but I think giving yourself grace and saying, it's okay to read a book. It's okay to sit down. I need to take that advice as well. Like you don't have to do it all, um, especially when there's so many things coming at you from a hundred miles an hour from different directions. Take care of yourself because that's how you can take care of your children. <laughs>